So, extreme dippers, as you can see, that extreme dippers are the ones uh, who are going to develop a silent cerebral infarction in the night when compared to the dippers, and they are prone for stroke. They are going to have a more pro more uh, a tendency to develop a stroke, and they will have a poor prognosis after the stroke. So, it is thought also that hypertension has an important role to overall increase of stroke in these extreme dippers because two-thirds of stroke of extreme dippers occurs in the morning. They do not occur in the night when they have a low pressure. Only in the morning when they have high pressure, the strokes are happening. So, that is why it is very, very important to prevent this extreme dippers. So, in, when the patient suddenly stands from the lying posture, where there is already because of the extreme dipper, there is excessive sympathetic activity. There is a surge of blood pressure immediately when they stand, which can produce even a rupture and produce a hemorrhage or a stroke, a ischemic stroke. So, what are the clinical outcomes when the patients have coronary artery disease and CVA? In addition to that, they have orthostatic hypertension. So, there is increased eight-year risk of coronary artery disease and also, the hypertension has got increased incidence of lacrimal stroke. This is a relation between CAD and CVA. So, hypertension is also hypertension, higher in of silent cerebral infarcts and advanced deep matter lesions. And this results in cognitive decline, poor verbal fluency, leukoreliasis, impaired neurobehavioral function. And heart and blood vessels, orthostatic hypertension can produce uh, all the hypertension mediated organ disease like left frontal hypertrophy, increased BNP, peripheral arterial disease, proteinuria, macro degeneration, increased uh, arterial stiffness as well as increased intimal thickness and they will go to increase uh, cardiovascular and all cause mortality of course in one particular study. A SHAD syndrome is the one which uh, is going to be the systemic hemodynamic arthrothrombotic syndrome. So, this is once again, it is uh, the orthostatic hypertension is one component of this syndrome. Here, traditional risk factors are there, hemodynamic disturbance just like orthostatic hypertension is there, vascular problem is there, central aortic pressure is there, vapor variability there, neurohormonal mechanism is there and all these things produce a vicious circle of increasing atherosclerosis and hypertension mediated organ disease. That is why it is called SHAD syndrome. So, in SHAD syndrome, you have everything. One, the patient have a hemodynamic stress, the patient has got a vascular stress, so which is going to produce a vicious circle and produce atherosclerotic event and organ damage because of the SHAD syndrome. And orthostatic hypertension is one of the components. You can see the early morning surge, which is a, a component of orthostatic hypertension is one of the components which can produce the SHAD syndrome. So, SHAD syndrome is due to primarily hemodynamic stress as well as the atherosclerosis which can lead on to atherosclerosis will ultimately produce an organ ischemia and may present with acute myocardial infarction or acute CVA. So, how to manage it is a very important problem. 